right now we're doing 600 cord, but you know, I'm kind of kicking myself because this year I probably could have done a thousand. We don't have to have a board meeting if I want to change something or ask anybody's damn permission. It's not like somebody handed him a pile of money and said, oh here, go make some wood machines. That didn't happen. If you can't produce it fast enough, you're not going to make any money. There isn't another firewood equipment manufacturer in the world that's pairing piston pumps with a slasher saw. Talked to one of the other companies and they were bad mouth and CRD said actually I own one of them and I think it's the greatest thing I ever had. He's not stuck into making the same thing as everybody else. I don't have anything else that I do. I have to produce. In the hills of western Massachusetts, Chris Duvall and his team are proving that the fastest, most productive firewood processors available don't come out of corporate America. CRD Metalworks is changing the game for firewood producers across the street and across the world. Like the Burby family, who've been working the land for four generations. Nick, age 26, is building a successful business as a firewood producer. With the Woodbine Rapido Loco 60 at the core of his operation, Nick is beginning to realize his real potential. I don't think my father would deal with anybody that wasn't worthwhile. He's a straight shooter guy. I mean, he's, not, he's a no bullshitter. We just called Patrick and said, bring that damn machine up. I got this type of money. What are you going to do? The biggest selling point for him was not the money. He didn't care about the money. What he cared about was the integrity of the relationship because he doesn't like doing business with people that he can't chase down. And I agree with him because I'm the same way. I think he can just do it for a more reasonable price. They're on their second machine for us. They had the original machine, they sold it. This year I helped them sell it. Then the next day they called and ordered a brand new machine and I drove it to Brookline, New Hampshire the next day. It seems to be that right now is the time of the firewood. Because of the cost of living and the way things have been, you know, with the oil costs, really people are going back to the old roots of burning wood. My great-grandfather and even my great-great-grandfather, they started out on a Milford, New Hampshire. They were actually uh, the largest lumber mill in New England for 80 years. I'm not the type of guy that's going to sit indoors behind a desk, you know. I mean, I, I got to be outside in the wilderness, and this is just key to me. Right now, we're doing 600 cord, but, you know, I'm kind of kicking myself because this year, I probably could have done 1,000. With his Woodbine Rapido Loco 60, 2014 could see Nick Burby producing over 1,500 cord with one machine. And along with feeding a growing family, he has his eye on a few modifications to his other machine. Some of these legends out here have 10, 15 thousand dollar motors. If I make 12, 1,300 cords next year, this sled right here, that's gonna get 15 thousand dollars into it next year. Everyone's got their passion and racing snowmobiles and hanging out on the lake is our freaking passion. Racing, drinking, fires, a lot of crazy rednecks having a hell of a time. Yeah, we all work hard, we all make money, and this is the way we spend money. The capabilities of the Rapido Loco, it, the new machine with the new piston and new hydraulics, it's twice the machine that it was before and it, it amazed me down to the, how fast the conveyor belt. Everything is faster and more efficient, and that's how it has to be if I'm going to make the quota I want. The first machine Chris Duvall ever produced is still going strong today, generating additional income for the Bacon family, a staple of Williamsburg, Massachusetts for generations. No one on earth can make wood on a machine like Chris can. Originally, I was clearing land at home, and rather than throw the wood away, so to speak, I chose to sell it wholesale to one person. It was the first machine he built. After maybe a half a dozen or so got sold, he knew he was heading in the right direction, and he just kept improving, 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 and he's always been a real smart guy when it comes to hydraulics. He's, he's learned it the hard way, though. The, the only way. I don't think he's ever read books to try to figure out how something works. He knows how it works. No matter how you work in the woods, a firewood processor from CRD Metalworks provides performance, power, and profit, leaving the competition at the starting line. I have had other wood processors, I mean, other than his, and uh, very slow, not automated at all. The, the, this machine is automated, which I like. 
And if he can make that sell for $15,000 less than the competitor, he's going to do it. Technologically superior is an understatement. It's simple. It's rugged. It's easy to maintain. It's efficient to operate. You may not have a coffee maker and a heated footrest and it you know, may not uh, tell you what time it is in China, but it sure hell cuts a lot of wood and that's kind of the, the bottom line. Consistently innovating for safety and productivity, CRD leads the path and never looks back. That was really my goal, was to make a production machine that a guy could really live with and make a living with. Chris is a genius when it comes to putting something like that together. Of course, it worked great before, but it really works great now. Tell me why you're able to succeed selling your product that much less. Because I buy in volume and my machine is really simple and we have an efficient crew of guys. Some people are under the impression that it is inferior because it doesn't cost enough, which is too bad. We do things differently. Part of our job is to educate. If I sold everybody the same thing, and only make one type of machine. But we have six different options to allow the customer to discern. We use rotary gear pumps on our chainsaw machines. We use really high quality American made ones. These are Danfoss controls and they're European. They're the best European piston pumps you can purchase. When you buy a firewood processor, consider what you're going to get for what you're going to pay. In the firewood business, just like logging, it's down and dirty. The faster, the cleaner, and the more efficient you can get it done and get it out, the more possibility you have for more profit potential. The Rapido Loco lineup features a patent-pending braking system that can stop its slasher saw blade turning at 1,000 RPM on a dime. The braking system for the machine is two-stage. When you turn off the saw circuit, it'll break the saw hydraulically. When you need an immediate stop, hit this button and it comes to a complete stop. It's exclusive to our product. Nobody else has that. With that safety button, that's a big key item because sometimes, you know, a log might drop in sideways. You know, you never know. CRD is constantly improving based on customer feedback and common sense. The Rapido Loco's exclusive hydraulically folding conveyor makes setting up your wood buying a five-minute task. You can fold this conveyor up hydraulically using levers. You get four extra feet of conveyor. Makes it easier to move on the wood lot, makes it easier to transport. Super simple. Nobody else is doing that either. We try to think of the right things for the right reasons. If it doesn't make more money, it's not more productive, and if it's not safer, we don't want to do it. When you get a competitor's price, take note that only a woodbine firewood processor comes with a split hydraulic conveyor system as standard equipment and still comes in thousands less. As the wood goes up the conveyor, there's a, about a three, four inch gap in between and a lot of the material fall through, all the shavings and kindling falls into a quick attach bucket that's right underneath and it doesn't fall into your wood pile. Just outside New Haven, Connecticut, Joe Tarolo has his fingers in many different ventures. A woodbine firewood processor keeps his business steady all year long. When we first started, it was basically just to keep my guys busy during the winter. And then all of a sudden, I bought a firewood processor. Chris's small machine grew out of that. And now we have the Woodbine Pro. And we actually are doing it now almost nine months out of the year instead of a couple months out of the year. I went up there a couple months ago. Basically, the machine needed a tune-up. Chris, can you do this? Yep, come on up. He looked at it. He had the machine running top-notch like I took it out of there when I first bought it in 15 minutes. Chris is such a creative guy. He's an intelligent guy. He's an absolute no-bullshit guy, which is a great thing if you want to deal with someone in a really earnest way. You can tell there's always a thought process going on in that man's head. He's always trying to figure out ways to improve and do better. He's the, probably one of the hardest workers you'll ever meet. Got a wonderful little girl, very polite, and he's got a good wife behind him too. CRD is in fact a family business. The name of the company, CRD, does not stand for Christoval's initials, but instead, they are the initials of his beloved wife Rosanna and daughter Dorothy. Hey, you can't see me. <laughs> My name is Dorothy and I am the D in CRD. Sometimes I question whether or not he's okay. You know, it, it, sometimes stuff just drives him nuts. He's up all night thinking about one tiny little thing. He cooks his guys lunch every day. While they're waiting for lunch, they're out skeet shooting out in the backyard. Or they're, during the summertime, they're out having go-kart races around there. But that's the way he is. He's tried to make it fun and productive. It's basically the same attitude we have around here. He buys us lunch every day. We'll just do stuff like this. What's the end result of that? The 
work. We, we work hard. We get our shit done. They broke the mold when they made that dude. They definitely broke the mold. So, how does the guy in the woods, working out of his shop, beat corporate America? Keep your guys happy. Build a better machine for less. Refuse to compromise. Hey, it's not rocket science. The American-made CRD Woodbine Firewood Processor.